Hey guys, this is iMaster, and today I'm going to be giving you a review slash overview of the free program Doc Spaces. So this is the menu that you get when you first uh, launch Doc Spaces, and it has quite a few options. I'm just going to go through each tab. First of all, let me tell you what it is. Doc Spaces allows you to have different docs for each of your spaces that you have. Um, it, it's a really useful feature, and especially if you don't don't like your doc cluttered with, you know, up to, I don't know, what, 30, 40 different applications that you use regularly. So, I really like this program. It does have a few minor things that go, can go wrong, but it's nothing that's major. Alright, so, in the general settings, you... This is basically your main preferences. Menu bar icon is enabled. That's that one right there. Notification is when you're switching docs. Uh, it'll like give you a panel, say, doc 2 or doc 3. And I'll explain that further later. Uh, whenever you create a new doc, whether you want it to be empty, copy of selected, or the... Uh, Mac OS X OS 10 default doc hotkeys which is what you press to switch docs I like command plus number but what you can choose yours uh, to bring this window into front if you want to click a shortcut I, I don't really use this window that much so I don't keep it open so I don't didn't set the shortcut but if you'd like to you just click and press the buttons window always on top like I said, I don't use it, so that one's not checked. Window join all spaces. That means when this window's open, if you switch a space, this one will come down to the, the space that you switch to instead of like a normal application staying in just that space. Hide the window on launch. Well, yeah, I, I don't quit this application, so I don't have that one checked, but that might be a good one to have checked. Disable dock icon. There is a dock icon, as you can see. I don't have it down here, so I click that. Okay, so once you have these set, you can go ahead, next tab, docs, and this is how you create your docs. So as you see, I have four docs currently set. I have my startup doc, which has things like my uh, email, Finder, Safari, iTunes, iChat, and Simplify Media. Web design, which is iWeb, GIMP, uh, Easy iWeb Publisher, Preview, and Ex Espresso. Movie, which is the one I'm on right now. It indicates it with a little leopard aurora type thing. Uh, I have iMovie, iShow UHD, which is my recording program, uh, QuickTime, and Safari is there because it's open. Gaming, I have, let's see, I have, uh, I don't remember this one. I'm going to have to find it. Gaming, I have, let's see, Sticks, World of Goo, Armag Armageddon Advanced, Aquatax, and The Sims 3. So, like, if I were to put all these applications in one doc, I would have well over 30 applications in my doc. And that would be a pretty long doc. So this really helps keep me organized. Then you could set up spaces. Alright, this is a really cool feature, and you might have caught that I used it earlier. I have this enabled, and what it does, it lets you have a different doc for each space. So right now, this is my gaming space. So this has my gaming doc in it. But if I were to switch um, to my web design space, see, it has all my web design applications there. Okay. Options. This is kind of a dot customization type thing. Um, mini dot customization. Some options that I don't think are in uh, uh, system preferences. Bouncing icons, you know, when you launch applications or they need your attention or whatever, uh, you can prevent that. Lock contents. I'm not sure what this does. I'm going to have to try it out. Maybe it 
allows no new things to show up. That would be kind of cool, actually. Um, so I'm going to try that out. Icons, transparency, hidden applications would be transparent. So that's already a feature in a lot of, you know, Mac customization icon uh, applications. I don't have that checked, but you could if you wanted to. Automatically hide and show the dog. This is available as an option in system preferences. And if you didn't know, you can toggle dock by pressing, I mean, you can toggle hide and show dock by pressing uh, command option D. And see, now my dock hides. I go down there, it shows, hide, etc. Show active corners. If you have uh, uh, expose set up, this will put little semicircles. I can't go down too far because it'll activate my screensaver. Little semicircles. If you can see that where your active corners are. So currently, this corner down here is puts my monitor to sleep. This one starts my uh, screensaver, and this one is spaces. Show expose button. Um, I don't really see a point for this. Um, it doesn't do any. Uh, it's that blue thing. So when you press it, it brings you to expose. But right now, I have that set to a um, thing where I squeeze the side buttons of my mouse, and it goes into it. Then you have dock style, um, toggle 2D, then wait for it to come up. That would be the 2D dock, old dock. Uh, I like 3D better. Alignment, left, center, right. So left would be, let's see how long it takes. It's going to come over here. Oh, no left side of your actual screen okay so then this one I guess would be the actual left um, side yeah I'm not gonna go through all those because obviously they take a good amount of time set up um, that your spaces set up how many rows how many columns and then the update so as you can see it's it could be a very useful program. Let me go ahead and show you what this notification is. Right now, I have it set to none. So if I were to switch, let's say, to my startup dock, I would press Command-1. And as you can see, there was no notification. But if I were to set this to borderless panel, and I switch back to my web design, you see it shows it the little icon there. Did you see that? Watch. See? I'm going to switch back to web design. So I found that annoying, so I set it to none. All right. Pros and cons of this application. Pros. It helps organize you like you would not believe. Um, you know, no more searching for applications. You don't have to go into Spotlight to launch things. Just switch to the appropriate space or to the appropriate dock. Um, yeah. Other pro is it's free. It is free. He... He, the maker of this is, of course, accepting donations for such a great product, but it is completely free of charge. So, I mean, even if you find a million flaws with it, it's free. So, you know, you can only complain so much. Cons that could be fixed in later versions would be, I found that when I was originally setting it up, it did mess with my system preferences, and I had to reset my spaces and all that junk. So that was a little bit of a hassle, but I got through it. Um, another con is, as you noticed, I'm sure the docks can take a while to come up when you're switching docks. So, you know, that kind of takes away from some of the productivity, And but it's not a huge loss. So guys, that's just about it. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video was very long. I, um, sorry. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.